Yo, 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 what is up, fam? It's your dude, fan of here. Welcome to another video. Today, we're gonna be reacting to this one. It's called Just so Say Okay to the Scammers. Now, I don't know what world you'd say okay to scammers for, and I, I don't think it's a good idea to do that, but let's check it out, guys. Just say okay to scammers. Okay, now I don't know how familiar you are with internet scams. Here's one I received a while back. My my email be full of them, man. They they actually go into my like business email and uh, email it. Cause and, and I I just put my business email in the uh, YouTube description. There's a ton of scammers that actually uh like message me through there somehow like um. And with like sponsorship opportunities, but they're all fake, it seems, guys. All legit. It's offering me the chance to collect a prize I've won in a raffle I've never entered. What the heck? I don't even get scam text messages and phone calls, guys. Anyone else get those? Uh, I'm going to win a. It's been happening for ages, right, guys? One and a half million dollars. Whoa, whoa. 1.5 mil? Anyone else like, apply like RuneScape logic to in real life, man? Even though it's a lot different, because I, occasionally I do, occasionally I do. And a BMW Series 5 car. Now this is a scam, obviously. I used to go to great lengths to... BMW one out of Tesla, man. ...bait these scammers and try and cultivate a lengthy and wasteful conversation with them, just to waste their time and annoy them. I've actually recently hit upon a technique Good idea, good idea. That has almost as good an... Yeah, this is uh, like a... Going against the scammers YouTube niche, it's pretty popular, pretty popular, guys. ...effect, but requires almost zero effort. I call it, just say okay to scammers. Okay, Atomic Strip. Yeah, this guy has like a million subscribers. Alright. So yeah, we got the email. It came in from Mrs. Recheo Adams. It's spelled with two S's. <laughs> Telling me to get in touch with Mr. It, there's misspelling in your scam letter. That's never a good sign, right, guys? To Daniel Gary to collect my one and a half million dollars and my car. So I replied. Let's go. Let's go. Replied and I said, okay. <laughs> he just said, okay. Immediately, I had a reply from Daniel Gary saying, please send your details so I can send it to the delivery company that will deliver to you and have it in the back of your mind. It will cost you some little fee. But if you don't mind, I can assist with part of the fee. But before I can do that, you'll promise to pay me back when you get your check and car delivered to you. So this is what usually happens with these scams. They'll tell you you've won an amazing prize. Then they tell you there's a little fee you have to pay first. And if you pay the fee, you never hear from the scammer again unless it's... Yep, yep, yep. We, we played enough RuneScape that we have, uh, you know... Came accustomed and we have adapted to scammers, bro. But I have get, gotten scammed a few times here and there. To ask for more fees. Anyway, so this all sounds really reasonable, doesn't it? So um, thanks, Daniel. I'm really looking forward to that. And you're going to help me with part of my fee. Oh, that's really kind of you. So what could I say? But uh, okay. So only a day passed and I had another email from Daniel Gary. And it says, as for the delivery charges, like I told you before, we can only share it equal. Waffle, waffle, waffle. So the charge on the delivery is $390, so we'll have to share it among us, and I'll pay some part, while you pay the rest that is paid. He said he'll pay some part. No, he's not going to pay that best part. I can do for <laughs> you. And then, interestingly, he volunteers some information I didn't ask for. Let me remind you, I'm a good Christian. I don't cheat on people, and I don't steal people's... Whoa, was that not a copy-paste message? It might be, it might not be. We, we just don't know. Money. I would never do such, because God is against it. Hmm. Okay, well, that all sounds very, very reassuring, and I'm glad that you're... Email scamming, bro, that's kind of new, bro, but he probably sent out, like, millions of emails. ...for a man of God, Gary, so what could I say but, uh... What if it's all AI? What if it's, a uh, yeah, GPT that's messaging? Okay. At this point, Gary seems to lose his temper a little bit with me, which is a bit strange. I mean, I've been quite compliant so far. All I've said is okay. And he says... You cannot teach me my job that I've been doing for several years now and still doing it. That's the only way it works. If you can't pay part of the fee and I pay the rest, I'm afraid you'll have to forget it and we'll terminate the transaction. Well, seems a bit rude, doesn't it? I mean, I've been very compliant so far. 
So anyway, he says, uh... Hey, bro. Until you're... Now, it, it, you did mention here that it might have been sent to, accidentally sent to him. Ready to abide. But, you know, he's messing up his, uh, craft here, guys. Right with the company's... Not the best thing to do. Roll. The choice is yours. Okay. Well, he's asked. No, no periods, no punctuation, no proper grammar, nothing, guys. So I said, okay. So Gary came back the next day and reiterated, the fee remain as I told you before. It's 390... That's quite a bit, man. Quite a bit of money. ...dollars, and I'll pay part of it, and why you also pay part of it. Please send your details, so I can send it to the delivery. Why did you refuse to send your details, since I keep asking you? Okay, well, indeed. I could only think of one thing to say, which was... Okay. Daniel came back almost immediately and said, Hello, are you ready to make the payment now so we can deliver your car and ATM card to you? Of course I'm ready. So I said, Okay. At this point, it's rather amusing to see that Daniel Gary lost his temper. <laughs> Which is, of course, the goal. Mr. Unit, oh snap, bro. It's kind of untraceable, but kind of not. I don't know. I'm sure anything can be traced nowadays, guys. All of all of the With te the today's technology. This. So Gary comes back and says, Okay, what? Do you need the information? So you go to West... Did not expect this to be like a screenshot email or slideshow, though. It's in Union and make the payment. So many YouTube channels we have not just seen, bro, but now we're seeing them if because, you, need the you know, we're doing these reactions and stuff, so... Payment details, reply back and send, yes, send me the payment details. So I replied back as he requested, and I said... Okay, and then it's just, just, just an okay, that's all he said. Seems almost like <laughs> Daniel's losing a little bit of hope and starting to plead a little. And so he's replied again saying, why keep saying okay? Kindly say something else so we can know what to do. Um, he's being, he's uh, being a little nice here, saying kindly, asking kindly for uh, some money, guys. I can't really <laughs> think of anything else to say. So I replied, okay. Uh oh, uh oh, oh my gosh. So that was the last I heard from Daniel Gary, and that was about a week ago. Yeah, occasionally they, you know, they don't keep engaging if, you know, there's just trolling going on. However, I've been emailing him every day just to keep in touch, and in fact, sometimes several times a day. What? I can only think of one thing to say though, which is okay. So at this point, perhaps you're thinking I'm a bit unkind. Uh -oh. oh my gosh, bro. Now, he could have just blocked the email, though. I think, uh, yeah, yeah, you could just block the email, guys. Mind, ...and maybe a little bit cruel to play games with these people. However, I intend to persuade you otherwise. Here's a little extract from a previous conversation when I was doing more elaborate conversations with these scammers and doing more elaborate scam baiting. I got to a point where they were asking me to pay the fees, and I thought I'd plead poverty. And so I said to them, I don't know where I'll get the money for the fees. If I pay even half that amount, I'll have no money for food for my... Is he gonna, like, anti-scam? That'd be cool, that'd be cool. ...children this month. This is why... I... It's hard, because they know they have a hard set thing to not, you know, spend their own money here. So it'd be hard to do. But if he does it, this will be the video of the year. I thought maybe the fees could be deducted from the total. How can I do this? And then I followed it up with another message where I said something very similar. I said, isn't there any way to defer the fees until after the check clears and then I have funds? I don't know how I'll pay for rent and food this month if I take out money to pay fees. Do you oh, snap. He's actually giving like a logical response here. Let's see how the guy responds now. Do you have any advice on this? Well, it turns out they did have some useful advice. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. And here it is. The scammer said, I'm sorry, there's no other way. This is simple. Take the money for your rent and food and use it to pay. It will take just 24 hours to deliver this check to you, and then you can even buy your own house. Don't worry, just do what I say. 1.2 million, that's a lot. That's a lot, that's like a whole lifetime of income, almost. It's just advice for you. Try as much as you can to send it today, and by tomorrow you'll cash the check and buy whatever you want to buy. It's like the double or nothing scammers and runescape or something. Buy. Send your details so I can send the information and make the payment by Western Union or MoneyGram. So this scammer was perfectly willing to take food out of the mouths of children and make it impossible for a person to pay their rent in order to make his profit. So my conscience is reasonably clear when it comes to mucking about with these people.
wasting their time. And yeah, they're just going to keep trying, just in case, you know, there's going to be a successful uh, hole here. Like, uh, uh, just in case they get somebody, you know, he's still trying, he's still doing it uh, months later, guys. Wait, so he didn't block all those emails from him. He basically, he didn't block a sing single email. And annoying them. So that's the end of this video, really. Thanks for watching, and anyway. Okay, well, well very well put together video. My advice. Not, not, you know, didn't take that much effort. To you is if you got a lot of views, so hey, that's good. That's good. You get one of these emails, just say okay to scammers. Thanks for watching. Oh, I get it now. Just say okay to scammers. That's what it's called. <laughs> he said, just, just okay. No, nothing else. That, I wonder how many emails exactly he has sent, guys, to the scammer here, guys. And I hope to see you again soon. All right, guys. That will be the video. Let's uh, let's go f over some comments here, just so we can have like a you know we can uh, see the top comments that are from the point when this actually gets uploaded because they do change often. Um, holy crap! The scammer goes through a whole lot of denial, anger, bargaining, acceptance routine. We seeing a scammer's time is like I an eye for eye situation. They get what they deserve. And you walk away knowing you ruined someone's day. Sad, sad. Well, my computer has frozen, so I'm going to have to start this com a recording. I will see you guys next video. Peace out. Check them out. Atomic Shrimp in the description. Wow, 14 million views? What the? That's quite a bit. Later, guys.